Hello out there, my name is Benjamin and thank you so much for joining me here once again in the studios of Blab and Solutions. In this very video, I will walk you through a step by step with no steps skipped on how to design a simple logo. After, we will look at how to design a letterhead. But before we begin, let me use this opportunity to say a very big thanks to you for clicking this video. If this is your first time of joining me here, please do well to hit the subscribe button like share and let me know your thoughts by leaving them in the comment box below with this being said and done please do stay tuned and i hope you enjoy welcome to photoshop the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a working space so to do that come to file click on new let's name this logo sorry logo and uh, we'll be working in inches so i'm going to use um, 7 by 5 inches the resolution is 300 rgb color mode everything is intact in here so let's click ok So let me go on by telling you the name of the logo. The name of the logo is Miraculous Studios and that is it, Miraculous Studios. So I don't intend doing any illustrations, anything. I'm just going to use text and I would use text in doing the logo. So let me quickly do that and I'll get back to you guys. And now our logo is ready so let me quickly go on and save this as a PNG file format and we'll head on to putting this on our letterhead all right guys welcome back now so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to start or we're going to begin with our letterhead so to do that come to file we're going to create a new document for that actually click on new and we will be using international paper so in the preset we will select international paper and automatically we have the size set to A4 for us so we have A4 as this everything here is intact so the, the other thing we are going to do is we are going to rename this to what do you call it letterhead and we are going to click OK and we have our A4 sheet ready for us so this is it what do we do next the very next thing we are going to do is I'm going to insert guidelines in here to help me do what I want to do this shouldn't take us up to five minutes or it shouldn't take us up over five minutes to get this done because I've already made this easier and I believe by the end we'll get this done within five minutes so let's quickly head in so to begin I'm going to set my guidelines and that will be fine in the view tab click on view and we have new guideline so we are going to select the vertical guideline and we're going to be working in percentages so I'm going to divide this into 20 20 20 20 so that means we're going to have five guidelines over here so to do that I'm just going to press the first 20 percent make sure to add the percentage and hit OK we're going to do same so we have the five uh, guidelines in here so the next thing is 40 percent let me quickly do that and i'll go back to you guys shortly all and that is it we don't need any other guideline again so we have one two three four five in here the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my rectangular tool and I'm in here and let's hold and drag something like this. I don't need this color, I need a reddish color because the lo our logo is red and black. 
So I'm going to hold this and drag this to the bottom like this. Select the same rectangular tool again, but this time I'm going to draw something slimmer. Okay. And I'm going to place this on top. So something like this is okay. But I need to push this beneath. Okay. So this is okay and Okay, so let me rename these shapes so that I can easily identify them slim. Then, big. Okay. So I'm going to select my rectangular, sorry, my rectangular marquee too. And I'm going to draw something actually that is too much in here. And I'm going to maintain the color red, the color, the red color in here. And I'm going to Sorry. So I'm going to do th that for the next box. I'm going to select my gradient tool by pressing J. That is a shortcut for the gradient. And I will come in here. This is the color that we have in here. So I'm going to reduce the color to something like this. And sorry, we need to rasterize the layer. So I'm going to right click and rasterize it. So when I come in here, I can just paint in here this way. So I'm going back to select my rectangular marquee to the shortcut is M. And I'm going to move this box in here like this. Select my gradient tool again. And I'm going to select something beneath like this. And I'm going to paint in here. Do same. Control D to deselect, and we are done with the button. We are done here, and now let's focus our attention onto this side. So, with our same rectangular tool selected, we're going to draw a rectangular shape to this way in here, and I'm going to select a red color. Actually, it's the same thing I'm going to do in here, but with this one. I'm just going to do it for the first box and the last box and I'm going to maintain the other four boxes that we have in here so I'm going to quickly do this and I'll get back to you guys shortly alright guys welcome back so now we are done with the designing of the letterhead the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the importation of the logo that we did early on and I'm going to add a contact detail beneath here okay so let me do that i have the the logo in here this is the logo so i'm just going to hold this and i'm going to drag this in here like this this is too big so i'm going to press ctrl t to scale this to a scalable size still big I think something like this is okay and I'm going to put this in here like this right now I have the contact details in here so this is the contact details so I'm going to hold this and I'm going to drag this in here like this I'm going to place this then nicely here And there you have it our letterhead is ready someone might also choose to bring a watermark of the logo in here and that that is not bad so let me try that and see ctrl J to duplicate the logo and I'm going to bring this in here ctrl T and I'm going to scale this big enough and I'm going to reduce the opacity
to 11 and this is looking nice And that is it. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial. I have another video teaching you guys how to place this correctly in Microsoft Word document. If you haven't watched that video, please do well to check the description below. I have a link to that video and do well to watch it. Before I leave you, please do well to hit the subscribe button. And also make sure to check the bell icon so as to be notified whenever I release new videos. Do all to also like, share and let me know your thoughts by leaving them in the comment box below. Until I come your way next time, it is still Black Band Solutions and thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.